the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 155, Psalms 119. More insight, more understanding. The Lord's word will be a lamp for their feet and light on their way. For those who give their word that they will desire the Lord's decrees, commands and laws, and live according to his teachings. First point. The psalmist used various examples to express who God is. Psalm 119 is the longest in all the psalms. Although the author is unknown, many believe that it was written by Ezra. Psalm 119 focuses on God's laws, regulations, commandments, rights, and promise. It stresses God's ways. It also stresses God's precepts. Next, it stresses God's decrees. It then stresses God's commandments. Next, it stresses God's righteous laws. It stresses God's words. It stresses God's laws. It teaches to use God's laws as a discipline. It also teaches that God's words are statutes. The psalmist teaches readers to be glad in God's laws, learn about it and learn to obey and continuously meditate on it. Second point, the psalmist said that he meditates on God's laws all day long. The song of the psalmist contains his deep heart of love towards God. He writes that he thinks about God's love all day long. He wrote, Oh, how I love you all. I meditate on it all day long. The strength of God's words is indeed incredible. If one meditates on God's words, like this psalmist, they too will be able to confess the same thing. The older people are respected for their wisdom about life. But the psalmist claimed that anyone who meditates on God's law is wiser than the older. This is because reading, learning, and meditating on God's words is the key to wisdom. Third point, the psalmist confessed that God's laws are like a lamp on his way. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your righteous laws. As the night grows darker, it is instinct to want to see light. This is because light shines away fear and the cold. The psalmist writes that no matter what distress one finds themselves in, they can always find safety in God's words. God finds those who are full of darkness. The psalmist asks God for help on his way. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and punch, longing for your commands. Turn to me and have mercy on me, as you always do to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin roll over me. He confesses that he finds love and strength in God's word. Fourth point, the psalmist confessed that he murmurs God's laws all day long. The psalmist expresses his love towards God as such. My soul faints with the longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your word. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. I open my mouth and pants longing for your commands. My eyes stay up through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises. The psalmist confesses that humans are evil and so they need God to save them. 
the psalmist turns to God during his suffering and earnestly calls for him. Your compassion, Lord, is great. Preserve my life according to your laws. Many are the foes who persecute me, but I have not turned from your statutes. I look on the faceless with loathing, for they do not obey your words. See how I love your precepts. Preserve my life, Lord, in accordance with your love. He laments over the people who do not find God or know about God's laws. He prays for these people and also for himself. During despair and distress, he looks at only God. He shows utmost faith in God. Fifth point, the psalmist sings of the perfection of the Bible. All your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. The psalmist praises the perfection of the Bible. This is also written in Proverbs. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Paul says this to Timothy. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. In Psalm 119, the writer reflects deeply on God's words, laws, decrees, and commandments. He writes that he will not forget God's decrees. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servants, for I have not forgotten your commands. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.